Yo, welcome back everybody. It's great to be back. It's great to have a meta that finally feels like we can play all kinds of things again. Naga's nerfed, Siren removed from the game, and now we're back to all kinds of different builds. Today we had seven games that were top twos playing six different builds. The only build that was a duplicate, what we're showing here. Exodia Pirates is back with a vengeance. As people play middle of the game comps, and go for big stat boards, especially big stat taunts with the popularity of Arm of the Empire and Divine Shields right now, well, let's just say that Exodia Pirates stomps all over that. And if you can go to the moon and you can get a hold of Tony and go for those golden Elizas, it's all the better. Because once you get one or two Khadgars and one Baron or whatever, you're pretty much there. Because most people can't get bigger than what are effectively 100 to hundreds hidden behind a barrage of dozens of Sky Pirates. All right, enjoy. No, we found one alley cat. It's not great. Wonderful. <laughs> Could be a Goldrin, I guess. I think Nosy's too slow. It's a turn six Nosy. Might be playable. Can also take the egg. We probably stabilize a turn. Let's go for it. Goldrin's kind of shitty. Feels bad, man, Goldrin. All that's missing is Nadina or Zap. Like Goldrin's at, Goldrin and Nosy are at least better than Nadina and Zap. Or Little Rag, you know, which isn't in this game, but still. They're at least decent base stats. Like Nosy Looter, changing Nosy Looter to a bigger stat line was a huge difference for this here for this unit. Because being able to take it where you're not 100 percent secure. And then be able to play the game for off of that, effectively that unit, right? Later, actually makes for like a decent choice out of the total pool of units on Tavern 6. If you make the argument for like a 5-5 Nosy Looter, it's tough to take. It's kind of the problem with Little Reg. It doesn't offer you enough upside later to take losing rounds right now. Easy scam. Easy clap. What was on his board? a couple good things there could get the pair or the three three probably not worth buying though why buff the other one <laughs> buff this one that stays on the board Peggy Y All right, now we get to take a different triple next turn we have decent tempo for the turn 288s behind the 05s 
Naturally, Witchwing will give us another Swabby. Little Rag's such an underpowered six. Yeah, it's the lowest win rate, lowest play impact by definition on HS replay. For any six star, pretty much every turn that you can be offered it, it is an outlier. It is incredibly weak. The card is only good if you get like four copies of it and Bran and you're on six and you're not playing in two lobbies where, you know, there's an abundance of poison, <laughs> which just doesn't exist. BG rank. Yeah, we're slowly climbing. We haven't played enough games this season to be competitive yet. The grind season is not, it's not my forte. I don't, don't play 25, 30 games a day, unfortunately. We'll slowly move our way up. Hopefully we can get the top 16 before the end of the month. If we don't, we don't. When's the cutoff? End of the month, every month. That's kind of the hazards of being in Lobby Legends. Boo, dude. Is that committing time for something that's not ladder? Isn't very good for ladder. All right, we'll take our tie. Not a lot of days. It is what it is, man. I have to work. I cannot, I can't magic the amount of time needed to do it. Not going to lose any sleep over it. Nice golden. It is a pretty good golden. All right, we got Eliza. We can go up. Time to go up. You want the coin? And the extra pirate? Nah. Hmm. I want to sell two for it, but I like you. It's close. I could sell Witch Wing in the deck swabby. We lose one ish proc off Witch Wing, which probably warrants freezing instead of playing because we aren't stronger by playing the Scallywag. The one gold that we lose in the form of freezing the board effectively, we're making back by the Nest Matron giving us something. Didn't you play Lobby Legends games at 4 a.m. recently? True. Did lose sleep over that. Now, I meant lob or not going to lose any sleep over trying to grind out enough games for this season. Having the reset in the middle of the month and then having a cutoff for Lobby Legends like 20 days into a season turns the game into who plays the most at high win rate rather than who has the highest win rate. Not my favorite season. Definitely want that changed if possible in the future, but it is what it is. Woo, we got our proc. Turns out Eliza's pretty good. When's BG's been about win rate though? Every season? Like after you play like 400 games or whatever, it's just win rate. Local win rate in the last like 100 games that fluctuates up and down. But every season's just about win rate. Number of games played has very little impact after a certain point. You still have to play the first five or 400 or whatever in a four month span. Yeah. We in. Could take Gas Coiler. Or I could just not buy things that are bad. We look for Tony, we look for Baron, Chet Kagar. Second Scallywag Argus. You know where we're going with this. We get another triple next turn. Mm, Mama's kind of cute. If we don't think we're strong, but it is turn nine and we have double Eliza Scallywag on the board. I'm not going to be wasting gold. Just played a couple of bad games with Master Win and Eudora. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I know how you feel. Rough games are rough. Does your class know how awesome you are at Hearthstone? I don't have a class at the moment. I haven't done any teaching in almost two years now. Last class I taught was a summer semester in 2020. 
that was a differential equations class. Or I guess it was technically a signals and systems class, but it was a differential equations class. We don't try to disguise that. Ah, got him. It's a math class disguised as an engineering class. Down goes one. Browns Warden. How interesting. Nah. 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 <laughs> it's Tony. Tony's cool. I think we're going to argue that we sell Note or Peggy at this point. That I don't want it to be golded by Tony. That we want one of the Elizas to get it. Worst case scenario is it golds uh, Nosy here. But did you see Jakirik's Manted Math? Yep. It was a really nice little segment on, uh, on Twitter is where I saw it. I believe I retweeted it. Can't remember. Took the time to write out the odds and put it in a little document for like, if you have one of the adapts currently on a Manted and you know, you have two tribes on the board, what are the chances of hitting Divine Shield? Or like if you had Taunt and Wind Fury already on a Manted and you had three tribes on the board, what are the chances of getting Divine Shield for all the combinations for it? I can bring it up. If I retweeted it, which I think I did, should be like super easy for me to find. Nope, last thing that I retweeted was Slissa's delete bad heroes. <laughs> It'll take two seconds to find it. Was it Minder or Sleepy that actually posted it? I know Sleepy did it, but I think Minder retweeted it. Oh, there's a billion announcements because Standard has their mini set stuff today, huh? Jakirik posted it? Oh, I, I said Sleepy, didn't I? I meant Jakirik. You're correct. Jakirik. There you go. There's our win. We can look at that real quick. Then Manted Math. How about I just link this to you guys if you want to save it for anything. But the likelihood of hitting Divine Shield based upon having one tribe on the board, two tribe, three tribe, four tribe, and having so many keywords already on the unit. Which is nice. You guys go. If you want that link. If only something on our board would fucking die. <laughs> I mean, we can take it. If we get the triple, cool. Okay. We're pair gaming. <laughs> oh shit. Little one first. Time for double gold and Tony. Assuming that the Tony golds the Tony first, and assuming that the scallywags die, then it would be one thing golden Tony, and then this would die, and then you would get both Eliza's procced, but but yes, there is a hazard of that. This is probably actually this order, isn't it? If there's any real cleave threat. Can someone share Slissa's delete bad heroes tweet? It was uh, pretty straightforward. But sure, here you go. <laughs> there it is. Delete bad heroes. 
I agree. We need to get rid of some bad heroes. They need to not be in our game. Gross. He's actually pretty strong here. Can't tell on a from a glance how far this is off. We might get our golden double golden Eliza though. There goes one. Tony gets the other Tony and the the one Eliza. Uh thank you. I was gonna say we just about took the 1.8 percenter. Ah game. So mean. Alright, now we need to get just a little bit closer. Get ourselves Cadgars and Barons, and we pray. He's pretty weak. We should just do this. There's small risk of cleave here. That we could taunt just one of them. We don't exactly have Exodia yet. I'd really like to do this because we're not playing seven yet. Um, kind of regret selling Argus. I should have suicided Argus in position one. Higher likelihood of getting this proc. There's really no reason to do that. Yeah, I should have just kept Argus here. I'm not going to play Manted. If we don't get another Khadgar or Baron, I have to play Manted next turn. Like, we're not an Exodia board. Like, double Manted is debatable here. Maybe we should just play Khadgar position one it. Otherwise we're not going to get the Eliza proc, right? I don't think we get there. That's why I was looking at his board. We have to suicide something. Otherwise we don't get three, four things to die. This value trades taunt. The Scallywag also does. But if Khadgar goes first, then spawn goes off. The Scallywag doesn't value trade taunt. We need him to still attack into something, but it's way lot higher likelihood of getting this proc. That was actually a really good hit because it gets this thing to die now. Feels good, man. Now this dies and we get our Eliza. Suicide and Eliza, it just doesn't help. The Eliza is less likely to die than a Sky Pirate. So like, we can't get it to die to the taunt, so it's just gonna attack and live. There just is not enough stats on this board. We needed to play Khadgar position one to get that proc. And even that wasn't guaranteed. Cause the Sky Pirate, if he attacked right, could still value trade the reborn taunt. All right, now at least we have one Baron. Okay. Awkward. Not gonna take the Eliza. <laughs> you both have to go. And everything after this point is just a debate on what stays on the board. If you don't wanna do anything around Zap, then you can argue Eliza position one or you can argue playing one Golden Eliza instead of two. The really nice part about Golden Eliza position one is that if he does have Zap and we go first, the Eliza gives us a 10-4 to everything on the board which means that Baron kills Zap. 
and lives. Instead of playing down the unit. Or gives us, an, uh, I should say, it gives us the 8-4. Why did I say 10-4? This would be a 9... Yeah, it would kill Zap, but it would die itself. It needs a 1-1 one, one on it to be able to kill Zap without killing itself. Which is still good, so you don't lose the Khadgars. I'm not sure why I said 10. Yeah, 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 like... 8 times 2. I don't know if in my mind the other Eliza was there because we had it on the last board. It goes up to 9, 11. Which trades a 7, 10. Evenly. 7, 10 Wind Fury. 10, 4. Good, buddy. Oh, it's because Top Gun's being advertised everywhere. That's why. That was the reason. First Tony Golden, the second Tony, and the second Tony proct afterwards. Why was it a three golden? Is that why it was three golden? Yeah. It resets the counter by one. When the when the when a Tony golds another Tony, it'll be at three out of four. For some reason it doesn't get the credit for the last kill. It's been like that since the very beginning. Yeah, we Gucci. He just doesn't have enough stats. Even though we don't get the full value from Exodia on the first hit, there's nowhere close to enough stats there. Now we clear the taunts, and then it's just a question of how many Sky Pirates hit before you get a death rattle. I mean, it does make it a little closer. If we like immediately hit into the 2-1 or the 1-1. Well, there you go. Hit nearly instantly. Still a little bit short. Awesome. Absolutely normal behavior here. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> Why is this game like this? <laughs> oh, shit. We'll have a functional patch sooner or later. I wish I could see what his board state was. Oh wait, Firestone remembers. HS replay doesn't. If you restart the game, Firestone does. Nice. Another perk. All right, it's Exodia, or it's a uh, Mega Buster. Hashtag add. There's only one D in add, dude. Hashtag addition. No. Pass. No. 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 Sure. Hashtag C++. <laughs> hashtag C. Or C hashtag. It's totally a programming language, right? C hashtag. Somebody's eyes twitching out there. <laughs> yeah, C hashtag, exactly. <laughs> When's the last time anyone used C hashtag? <laughs> That's a language I've been happy enough to avoid in my lifetime. C flat, C sharp. <laughs> That's not Zap. We Gucci. Turns out that uh, Omega Buster boards don't do very well to your opponent going a million times before you. Weird how that works. Oh, I guess we, uh, we killed the Baron. That was a terrible hit. Oh my God, minimum procs. <laughs> Say it ain't so. And we gave him the cleave. <laughs> yeah, double golden Eliza Exodia is pretty solid. Even if you don't get the, the value from the Cadgars, it's still a lot of stats. Alright. 
Let's see if we can beat this giant taunt board. Maybe he'll sell off all of his giant taunts for acolytes. It's a really good hit, even if he zaps us, which he didn't go to six. But even if he zaps us, most likely it hits Baron once and then Kaggar and we still get like good value here. I just rolled three turns and got no mechs. <laughs> Did you check to see if mechs are in your game? We killed Bob. I'm pretty sure this is Headmaster Kel'Thuzad. Bob's been dead a long time. Kel'Thuzad after Rezim. Alright, it looks like, unless things go catastrophically wrong here, that we're going to get our W. It's been a few games since we got a W, considering that two out of our three first games were firsts. That's been nine games. On the back of Eliza, it's just Shutterwalk. Shutterwalk is silly. We didn't even hit this game, right? Like, we got one, we got one alley cat and two swabbies. Leveled and went to six. Like, soon after. We just took one triple into a six star. We got a nosy looter. We waited two turns to get a different six star. Got an Eliza and then went to six and went off. You just killed me? Oh, there you go. Jimbo, no! Yeah, I'm pretty confident this is exactly the same board he had two turns ago. I'm pretty sure he just AFK'd the rest of this one. It's like, no, nah, fuck this shit. <laughs> That's the same board. It's exactly the same board. Maybe a couple attack different. I was Omu. I was Bob. Good game, Jimbo. I was Bob all along. What is with this minimum prox bullshit every fight? Straight into the death rattles every time. <laughs> Inefficient stream sniper. Most people that advertise themselves in chat or like say things after they die typically aren't the stream snipers. They're the people that are like good-natured in your game.